Hi, this is Gene Bosler. I'm in Houston, Texas, and I'm up in this water oak to show you why it's important to point out pre existing property defects before you get done or complete with your tree work. Okay, my foreman, Francisco, wanted to point out to me this is Francisco. The defects on this roof, just beneath this vent, there the roof is cracked on the left, right there, right here is another one, right here is a cracked tile, and underneath that debris there's damage on the roof. Actually, Francisco noted this when he was lower down, closer to the roof, and it just wasn't until I got here. So, I guess, I guess the point is, yes, I, I hauled my fat, lazy, out of shape self up in this tree just to take a look at that. So. Here we are, and uh, the objective that we're doing, uh, we're seeking to achieve with this pruning is uh, storm prep, dead broken branches, and weight reduction, especially over the roof. Um, you'll see that this tree has quite a severe lean to it. Uh, it's, it's in between this elm and this sycamore in this smaller water oak here. So the greater lean is over towards the house and we're actually making some pretty good sized cuts. Um, seven inch diameter is the biggest cut that we we're making over the roof. Um, the real challenge in pruning a tree for weight reduction and wind sail reduction is in going out to the ends and pruning the foliage off of the ends. The temptation is to strip out all this interior foliage here. And then most climbers comfort zone is near the center of the tree. Kind of like where I am. But the point is that, you know, take this limb for example, pruning some, a couple of three inch diameter pieces off the end would better prepare us for a storm than removing everything in lion's tailing the branch. So you see a talk against lion's tailing plenty in the literature, but I hope that this gives you an example of why we don't do it in practice. Um, many times we get up in a tree to do storm prep work and previous pruning efforts have left only the foliage at the tips leaving us no, nothing to prune back to. See, on this branch here, there's a branch here, a branch there, there's a limb there, a major bifurcation there, one goes to the right and one goes to the left. Plenty of options for weight reduction pruning without leaving an ugly stub. Okay, so I've said enough. My uh, foreman is waiting for me to get out of his tree so he can continue climbing it and pruning it. Info at wideworldoftrees.com Thanks for tuning in.